Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Wild West Town. So I've done a little small bit of just basic world editing. I just want to build this little bottom of the cliff up, just that little bit so it's not a complete straight cut off to the cliff. So it's got like a little gradual coming up section here. And in this episode we're finally going to get onto like painting the cliff. And then the episode after this which I'm going to record all in one go. So it's just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Just keep get like two or three episodes recorded in one go today we're going to move straight onto the train and any other like small stuff that i need to do to the cliff i'm just going to do off camera because even i'm getting bored of doing the cliff so you guys must be bored of watching me do the cliff uh the quicker we can get onto like the train and the other buildings the more fun it's going to be for you guys the more fun i'm going to have as well like just building and recording the series so let's look at what materials we have and we want to use this whole episode is just going to be like a painting episode and by painting i mean like you know we're going to be using uh the colors like painting the cliff into all the different colors it's actually looking quite nice now even just adding that small basic uh thing there right so we've got this we've got that we've got this we've got that we've got that we've got those that one so those aren't useful uh we've sure we've got a few more i think the brown one has one as well there might be green i doubt it but might be we can check it anyway we'll check them oh god damn it i hate it when it does that Let's see, we want, we'll try the black, we'll try the green, we'll try that green. I know brown definitely has one, we'll try blue, we'll try grey, we'll try that grey, we'll try light grey. So we've got, so they don't work. I thought the brown had one. Do I need to change the biomes? Is this not a mesa biome? That's not a mesa biome. That explains a lot. Um, it'd probably be better if I did set the biome to mesa, but I don't know. Let's see, have I just gone past it? I think I've just gone past it, haven't I? There we go, mesa. Mesa. So let's just change these biomes over. There we go. See, I knew the brown one had one. So, that blue doesn't. The lighter blue doesn't, so we can get rid of those two. I don't think the greys do. No. That one does. We can keep that in there. The greens don't. So we can get rid of those. Uh, what, what haven't we looked at? The pink, and the purple, and the red. I think these do. Yep. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Get rid of those. Is there any other ones? Yellow. Yellow's already in there, I think. One of these is yellow. It's orange, it's brown. That's yellow. So that's the yellow one. Um, looking at the cliff and thinking which ones we want to use. Oh god, I wish I still had the other plot on <laughs> so I could go over and look. Oh, I suppose we do have, if I remember which one is the right one, pH, pH colon 1, colon 2, sorry, colon 3, colon 4, colon 5, Six. Now, if you're wondering why I've got so many damn plots, I'm an admin, so I've got unlimited plots. Here we go. This is the one I was looking for. This has got all the sort of nice ones that I want to use. So we've got light grey, we've got white stained clay, yellow stained clay, sandstone. Yes, of course, sandstone. We want to use that as well. Don't think I'll be using red. Definitely going to be using yellow and orange, possibly brown. So let's go back, there we go, and we want to put the sandstone in here as well, and white, and yeah, we've got that. So, these are all the sort of materials that we could possibly use. I don't want to use the red because that's too bright, so we've got this colour scheme going on. Uh, I think I'll probably mix these two together, possibly that, is that the same? That's quite similar, isn't it? So let's see, we've got... Copy that, put it on there, that can go on there, that there, that there, and we've got that, put both of those. Okay, I think we could do something with this. So I'm going to have three layers in this cliff. The first layer is going to be these two, orange and brown. Second layer is going to be this grey layer, and then we're going to have a yellowy layer at the top. So, 
We need to get a brush. And we also need a mat stick to find out what all these metadata are. So we're going to go for 1591 and 12. So brush, sphere 159 colon 1, one comma 159 colon 12. Size 5, of course. Mask 1. 1 is the stone. So we're just going to mask 1 for now. And nothing's going to happen. Do you have to put double slash? Mask one. Double slash for the brush. You, you know what to work? Plot me, we'll edit anywhere. Again, that's just another command. There we go. So, obviously, I'm going to have to do a lot of um, switching the biomes over after recording this video. I'm not going to do that on, on camera. Don't you guys worry about that. It's going to be a bitch to do, though. Um, so I'll do all of that off camera. I'll just sort of get a basic layering in for now. And once we've done that, the biome things shouldn't take too long, hopefully. But I'll probably do that all in one episode as well. Like, I'll do the biomes, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end of this episode. So that we're not, you know, waiting ages just to see what the finished product looks like. So I like that it's just above that actual cutoff point, but at the same time I don't because I purposefully made that cutoff point, didn't I? So we'll we'll edit that out when I do the next layer. So the next layer is going to be that grey layer, and we're just gonna have a small thin layer for that grey layer. So let's go find our stack of materials, which is over here. We want to use 159, 172, 1598, 1590. So I'll do it on the right block as well. 159. Oh god, I forgot what numbers I said now. 0, 159. 8. I think it was 8. Can't remember. And 172. So comma, enter. And then brush. Yes, I got it right. Okay, <laughs> it's quite fortunate. Uh, I'm also going to mask 159, 1 and 159, 12. Just so we can cover that layer up. And I didn't want it to go that low. So like I said, there's going to be a lot of uh, fixing up to do um, off camera when I go to change the biomes over. I want to keep them roughly at a certain height. And you'll see why in a minute as well. Um, oh, I also put, need to put one on that mask as well. Come at one. There we go. So this is just going to be around this height. I'm not going to go much higher than this. So it's a very small, thinnish layer. Uh, go up a little bit there. Across here. Kind of keep these layers down as well. And what you should see is all that boring work that I did. That was kind of a little bit pointless. Like keeping the heights quite similar, um, it's going to pay off for us now. At least I think it's going to pay off for us now, in the sense that we're going to be able to get a nice, like, solid transition in between these materials. So just put a couple more dots in about like that. That should be fine. Not too bad. And then for our very top layer, we're going to go for just yellow. Yeah, I think just yellow, which is 1594. Yeah, I remember that from last time. That's a bit sad, isn't it? So we're going to go for brush sphere 159. 59, colon 4, size 5, mask 1. And this should just cover all of the top up here. And it should just be a nice, easy, simple paint over. Right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'll cut here, and I'll come back once I've changed all the biomes over, and we can look at sort of doing the finer details, you know, just refining the uh, the brush that we've done. So at the moment, we've just sort of put the basic in there, to just gone like, yeah, that's roughly where the lines are going to be. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, guys, um, so I, I just kind of have to show you this. I've done a little bit of work here, you can see. I, we have a biome brush on the server. I don't know if everybody has access to it. I don't think many people know about it. I've only 
just discovered how to use it. I just remembered that we had it. Um, so that when I right click, you see like thunder and lightning appears there. And if I go over and sort of update the biome, you see there it changes the biome for me. So it's quite simple and easy to use. But I, I just thought I'd show you guys how to use it. So you're going to do brush. Uh, no, no, you're going to do slash biome place mesa. And it'll come up saying that mesa is the one that you want to use. And then you just right click like this in the spots that you want and it updates like that that's simple obviously there's going to be little bits that you're going to miss here and there but that's not too bad especially with what i want what i'm using it for it's going to be quite easy for me to spot the ones that i've missed so it's fine uh, but i thought it was a really little neat little tool and it annoys the hell out of people because you know thunder all over the place on the server <laughs> but yeah people understand so i'm going to do this rest of this off camera i just thought i'd show you that neat little trick uh with this brush and i'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so look let's take a look at what we've done so far i'm quite liking the colors choice that i've gotten for we've got a good mix you know with the uh, the light and the dark orangey brown uh we've got the light and the dark uh stained clay over here although the dark clay i'm not liking as much now i think what i might do is make a dark layer along the bottom here and then i'm going to use that sandstone as well and make a light layer along the top here uh, so we're going to have like some sort of smaller sediment layers but again i'm going to do that off camera and i'm going to do that now for you as well um and then we'll cut back we'll see that i just want to show you guys what we've got so far uh, the biome work is all done so it should be pretty plain sailing from here uh, and then we just need to do a little bit of detail on the bottom like changing all this uh, stone down here to sand and the sandstone metadata and it should be finished the cliff should generally be done without you know just small tweaks here and there that are going to be needed to be done over time okay so i've also realized that my render distance is on short so i've just pumped that up to a uh, normal plus 12 which is what i like to have mine on just going to be able to see things and actually <laughs> can actually see the plot now uh with that i don't know why my render distance was on so short but uh, I really like the cliff, how it's looking right now. Um, quite happy with the way it's turned out. I think it's looking good. Uh, we're going to get some sand on the top and we're going to have some sand at the bottom. And that's what we're here to do. So, the end of this video, we're just going to focus on that. So, I'm going to do my old trusty brush, which is brush sphere 12 colon 0. 12 colon. I always forget this one. So colon one and twenty-five colon five. Size five. Mask one. And then I click. And something's gone wrong. Oh it's twenty-four, not twenty-five. So undo that. It's twenty-four, not twenty-five, and that's colon no, I've put twenty-three. Twenty-four and it's colon two, is it? Nope. Call on three. I thought it was call on three, but then I, oh, I, I wasn't sure I wasn't. I don't know. Yeah. So that's the one that I'm looking for. And I can just click like crazy man. I've also got my fly speed just like super duper high right now. Um, I think it's on 10. I'm just going to click about like a madman. Uh, missed a bit of biome. Told you I was going to miss a bit of biome, didn't I? And we can just. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Uh, where's my brush? It's this one. And just make sure we get all the bits of stone. I'll be going through with the snow layer to get extra bits of detail in there as well. And we can just go across like this, the whole thing. And this should be it. This should be the cliff. For the most part, done. I never want to say like it's completely done because I've not spent much time on it. But for the most part, yeah, it's done. Quite happy with that. The cliff's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. Um, all that's left to do now is the train and the town. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have another cliff in that corner as well. Somehow, somewhere, some way. Uh, we also have a list of things here. So this is what I want people to do. I'm going to mention this in the next video as well. And probably in a couple of videos later. We have um, lots of buildings planned for this series. We've got the chapel, saloon. Those two are done. General goods store, train, train's going to be done right now, sheriff's office, doctors, gun shop, barbers, water tower. 
Okay, so I've just had a shaders crash, so I've reduced the render distance to just normal instead of normal plus 12 or whatever it was. Anyway, we were going through this list, so I'm going to go through it again because I'll probably just put all that last bit out. Uh, we have Chapel Saloon, which I've done, General Goods Store, Trains Getting Done, Sheriff's Office, Doctors, Gun Shop, Arbors, Water Tower, Tailors, Undertaker's Blacksmith, Train Station, that's done, Gallows, Stable, Stamp Mill, School, Bank, Post Office, Corral, Hotel, a small pub, and about 15 to 20 houses. I'm probably going to fit those houses in there, but I want to fit all the other stuff. Um, I've read all that out because I want you guys to put in the comments below what you want me to, want to see me build next after the train. Um, we need something to go across from the saloon, and then I'm going to start focusing on this main street. So what of those buildings do you think would be in the main street? Um, that would, that would help me out a lot, see what you want to, want to see me to build next. Uh, if we were looking down this side, you know, what's going to go there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and there, and there, and there, and there all the way down there. Um, we're going to have just a basic T-shape as well, which is just going to go all the way down there and across the top here. Maybe have a smaller street crossing the set middle here, and we'll just have like random stuff around the edges I don't even know. But that's it for this episode, guys. We've made the cliff look quite pretty. There's still quite a lot to do, but for now, that's all we're doing with the cliff. For now, it is about 80% complete. We still need to do a, quite a bit of detailing with it, but I'm happy. I'm happy for now. I want to get onto other stuff, so we're going to get onto the train in the next episode. Uh, so don't forget to comment below what you want me to see, see me build after I finish the train, which is going to go across the street from the saloon. That's what I'm going to be doing there. Um, and if you're enjoying the series... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.